Hey guys, <laughs> hello, welcome to Petra's Cauldron. I promised you a little earlier when I was making my uh, German Krabbenbrötchen, my shrimps brötchen, that I will be preparing something very cool for this weekend. Uh, it's Greg's weekend, so we're going to make um, an old fashioned dish. It's an old braten, ein Rinderbraten, and they call it here chuck roast, pot roast type thing. Uh, some people make stew out of it, I don't. But I'm going to show you how we make it in Germany. And it's very simple, very easy. Um, just let's get to it, okay? Let me see. First, you got to have your beef. So I found this one here at Aldi's, and it's a chuck roast. It's organic, so and it's still in this, in this plastic. I'm going to take it out. You need some red wine. I use Merlot leftover, and you can see this is only for cooking. I don't drink red wine. Makes me all funny in my head, don't need that. You need some avocado oil or some other high, high burn point oil because we are going to sear our meat, right? You're gonna have some gloves. Um, you can use the full gloves, but Greg hates biting on them, so I bought the, the, the powder one here, you know, so it's already grinded. You need some salt, um, some Worcestershire sauce or whatever it's been called, some pepper. I love to have some paprika on it. My mom always made paprika on it. You need some um, beef bouillon for later on. You can also um, take that out and make um, a vegetable bouillon if you like. You gotta have some water. You have to have some uh, knoblauch, garlic. Ugh. No, I can't get that sucker open. What? Here we go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah garlic. You need some um, bay leaves, and since we don't like to have them later on in our gravy, I put them in one of the tea thingies, you know, and that works fine. And here you have your usual um, subjects. So you need your celery, your carrots, your onions. And I have this beautiful little machine. I just put them on and I pop on it and it comes out all unified. I don't care. It goes down in 10 minutes. It's all done. So. I always like to have some fresh rosemary on it, which comes straight from my backyard. And also some leaves, um, some sage leaves, see? This one goes also later on in here, right? And then some thyme, and this goes also into here. So, and then you need a, a pot. Now I have this cast iron one, which is in my family for a very long time. So I'm gonna sear my meat into this pot on medium high heat, which is on my stove about a seven. So and I see you in a moment. <laughs> I just got yelled at. <laughs> I got yelled at from my mom. My mom passed many years ago. And she's here with me in my kitchen right now cooking. Remember um, when, I, when I had this video, what spirit can do, that's what spirit can do. Yes, that's what they can do. Oh no, you're not gonna go there. No, <laughs> that's my dog. Uh, no, you could see it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so she passed many years ago. And she said, Petra, you forgot the one of the most important things. And I said, what is it, mom? And she says, mustard, you gotta have mustard. The braten needs to be smeared in with the, with the mustard. And I forgot. <laughs> She just yelled at me. This is so cool. But this is what makes it unique, you know. So this is something very, very nice. I just wanted to share that with you. But I want to share you also my next step. So here we have now the braten, the chuck roast. I washed it off. I dried it off. And now I put on some, some avocado oil. Just a little bit, you know. So and then I turn it over. And here too. Just a little bit. It's not the very nice piece what they gave me here, but you never see, you know, what you get when it's in the package. Yeah. So now, here I have my Dijon. I'm going to put my mustard on. Nice and generously. Oops. And then I put my pepper and salt on it. So I'm going to smear that now in. Good thing we have lots of water, my hands are clean, so I don't have to worry about anything, you know, so this is, this is how it's been done. I'm going to turn that over, I'm going to do this side here. Now I'm going to use my clean hand for 
the oh it works perfect smear it nicely in because that's how it goes later on into the big uh, cast iron remember so okay so let me turn this off here quick okay Ooh, how i'm going to do this like so I did put my pepper and my salt and my paprika powder on it. Now I'm going to turn it over on the other side and repeat the same thing. So I did now the same thing on that side. Now I'm going to go to my stove and I'm going to heating up my cast iron. And don't forget to put your um, oil in it. It can be coconut oil, can be avocado oil, any type of oil what you like. I prefer avocado oil or coconut oil, but this time I used um, my avocado oil because I wanted to empty out the bottle. There's not much in it anymore. And there's my beautiful Braten, Rinderbraten, Schmorbraten. That's the German name for that. Here they call it Chuck Roast or Pot Roast or something like this. A lot of Americans, they make it in the, in the slow cooker. I don't. Yeah, I don't do it in a slow cooker. I like to do it the old-fashioned way, you know, like my parents did, like my mom and my grandma did. And, um, yeah, so I prefer that. And then we got to sear it very nicely on each side for about two minutes or so. Um, watch out that your alarm system doesn't get hit because it's going to be a high temperature and... Um, you don't want to have the smoke detector going on, <laughs> waking up the whole neighborhood. It can be too. <laughs> and after that, we're gonna, I'm going to show you the next step. That is when all the other ingredients go in. And that's when my oven is going to be preheated on 300 Fahrenheit. And let it go in there for like two hours or so. And then you will see it's starts just falling apart and then we're going to make the gravy so this video either way is going to be in one and two or it's going to be um, put together so i don't know how that works but we're going to figure that one out <laughs> so i got my my um <laughs> filter system on here so it's in now and now it's going to be on both sides and you can see sometimes the meat they they fill it up they fill it up with some extra water. That is exactly what they have done here because I never had so much liquid in it. But that is, you know, how they do it today. They like to get the most out of their meat. Yeah. So I feel a little bit um, um, betrayed, but there's nothing I can do about it. It is what it is, you know. So I just let it sit there, sit there and let the water get out. And then I'm gonna turn it over then I can see it's nice and brown from one side and I'm going to switch it over again, okay? Now this is what we like to see, see? That is going to become later on a fantastic nice brown gravy. That is exactly how we want to have it. I'm put a little bit more in here and I have it on seven, which is like medium heat. Now here's another trick what my mom told me what to do. Since we have had our meat on here, we have all the spices and herbs are still on it. So I added my bouillon. Now I'm going to add some water. Like so, you take your whisk and you loosen it up because that goes later on in your fantastic gravy. That way you are not going to lose all your wonderful herbs and spices and the Dijon mustard and all that good stuff, you know. And it's also cleaned right away. <laughs> I like these little kitchen hacks. But my mom and my grandma, they were very frugal people. So I learned a lot of kitchen tricks from them. You know, early age when I started out cooking. So that is it here, see? Now when I started out cooking, and you know, I was about six, six years old when um, my mom and my grandma said, come here, you are going to learn how to cook. Girls need to learn how to cook and to do it right. So that's what we did every Sunday and during the week we learned little little things, you know, what um, mom and grandma could teach us. So, and then the Sunday's dish was one of the things. And I think I made that one the very first time, I think I was only nine or 10 years old. So of course, under supervision from my mother. But yeah, it worked out nicely. And um, I was excited <laughs> and I did it all by myself and I didn't even fuck it up. It was nice. I was so happy. So now I'm going to go and check on my, on my meat again and turn it over one more time and then we go to the next step, all right? Don't go far. And now it's time to preheat your oven to 300 because when our beef is being um, nice and seared, 
We're going to add all the other ingredients to it and then we're going to push it into the oven for about two hours. Um, then you have to shake in between, you know, maybe turn it over once or twice or stir it or maybe you have to add a little bit more water because you want to have it covered and that will give you a nice, fantastic gravy later on. That is what you want for your potatoes or for your closer, which I'm not going to make the closer. It's not happening. <laughs> Now it's time to add our wonderful liquid. And don't forget about this one here, all right? You gotta have your wine, your gloves, your herbs and sachet thingy, and your Worcestershire sauce, and you gotta have your water. That's all what goes in it now, all right? So we put all in, all our liquids. Now the rosemary got in and the garlic got in. You can stir it a little bit. And now we will top it off with our vegetables. Don't forget the vegetables, okay? So what I learned um, during all my years, I take half of my vegetables, half of it, and I'm gonna start out with my onions, put them in here and fry them a little, and brown them. Then I add my carrots and my celery. Now the other half goes straight into the pot into here. Now when this is being done, I'm adding it to this one here because that makes even the gravy more decadent. Yeah, decadent, I think is the right word. And that is what I meant. Half of it is now in here, and now my onions are being um, a little fried in here to brown, and the rest half of it is sitting here. That goes in it later on when this is being a little golden brown, you know? That's the time when we add it. Now you have asked me, um, how much wine do you want to add? Well, I would say about um, half cup to a cup, depends. I mean, you will be cooking out the alcohol anyway. But um, if there is a non-alcoholic out there or a dry alcoholic, leave the wine out. I wouldn't do it because that can um, be bad news for the alcoholic person, you know, who is dry now. So I have added now all my vegetables from my wok. And as you saw, I used my wok again. I always use that sucker. I love it. And then I have added now my herbs in here. The ones Greg doesn't want to have in here and it's hard to find later on. And I also put something on here for a little taste test. You always want to do a taste test. Hang on. Oh my God, this is already incredible. If you could smell, if you could smell what my kitchen smells like at this moment, unbelievable, it is so absolutely inviting you know there's something big coming you know when, when when you have this type of food coming up and you're making it preparing it for the family and everybody comes sniffing around says what are you cooking it smells all the way to outside everybody can smell it, the goodness you got to sample it and try it don't add any herbs and more spices on it at this moment because from now on when the oven is up on 300 the whole pot goes with the lid on into the oven for about two hours you can go in between you know and to stir a little you know move the things around and you see you can also do a taste test if you like to that way you know exactly um, if you want to add later on some salt or pepper or paprika or more garlic I don't think you need more garlic but you know you will see. I mean, everybody could have their taste buds a little different, so just try that out. So, and I see this is already 13 minutes, almost 14. So, I think that could be even a part two video in the next part, you know. We'll see. But this is for now. And um, now, my whole Sonntagsbraten, my um, Rinderbraten, my Schmorbraten, that's all the words we have for that. Chuck roast, pot roast goes into my oven. And have you noticed there are no potatoes in it? Nope. European people don't put potatoes in it. They have it on the side. And this dish is being served usually with red cabbage or um, um, uh, cauliflower or uh, what's the other name, the white stuff. Or, uh, I forgot. The English names don't come to me sometimes. It doesn't matter. But um, it's got, mostly it's being served with red cabbage and knödel which is closer. I don't like them. I don't like them. So I use them with potatoes and I make um, mashed potatoes out of them later on. So yeah, you will see. You will see. So stay tuned. Don't go too far. And um, yeah, I'm happy. This is going to be great. Oh, and you know what? While we are here already, why don't you just like and subscribe if you find any value out of this beautiful little video. So and yeah, get that going. And um, 
yeah, please write down your comments. If you have something what you like to say to me or wish what I would be making, let me know about it. I would be happy to help you out. Okay, so I see you later. Tschüss. Bye-bye, alligators. Tschüss. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you 300. And I have it set for 59 minutes. And in 59 minutes, I come and I stir it up. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. Here that is. There it is. Now it's going to do its thing and I have to wait. So here I am. Um, two hours are over now. So and I have um, taken out my um, cast iron from the oven and it's on top of my stove. I cooked some potatoes so now I'm going to make quick some mashed potatoes. That way you can see how I make that too. That way we are catching two flies with one hit. And um, guess who is awake and um, can help me? It's Greg. So he's going to do the filming and I'm going to do the cooking. So. So, here we are. So first of all, we, I cook the potatoes. Come here. So now I'm going to break them down with my little tool here. Masher. Masher, that's called masher. Okay. Potato masher. Potato masher. Mm -hmm. Then we put in a little milk. <clears throat> About so much, but we can add also more. And then here comes my handy dandy mayonnaise we like to use mayonnaise on it for creaminess not just any mayonnaise no it has to be the japanese one no. right That's cute. and nutmeg i'm not sure how many people know nutmeg in potato smash i do yeah. we do put we do always put nutmeg in here mm -hmm. about a half teaspoon or so don't be too stingy because that's a pretty good spice for that and then we add a little salt i have not salted the potatoes this is the only salt it's on it now plus the mayonnaise and then we mix then we mix so. some people in germany they use butter on it or mayonnaise i hate mayonnaise it's what you just put Ach, not mayonnaise, the, the <laughs> margarine. Ma oh, What's margarine. Margarine. Yeah. I hate yeah. margarine. It's, it's disgusting. Poison. Poison stuff. They used it actually, they invented it in the war to make some, some machinery, whatever stuff. So this is still too much for me here. I want to have a little bit more. This one here. A little bit more creamy. And um, that's how they invented margarine. Hate it. Disgusting. Yeah, is that a lubricant for machinery? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. That's... That's why it's not burning. <laughs> Disgusting, and people love it, and they go right out and they buy it. Yeah. So here, you taste it. Yeah, taste it. Let me know if you like it. You like it? Yeah, needs more salt, though. More salt? Oh. Okay, how much? Uh, about two pinches. So much? Yeah. We don't want to get too much. That's good. So much? Yep. Okay. Not too much. Mix it up some more. So, we're going to put the lid on it. All right. And let it sit on low and leave it alone. Okay. So, okay. Now, come here. So, remember we had this little baby here for two hours in the oven. Now, this is what it looks like. Woohoo, baby. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. So what we are doing now is we're going to t take out this thing here. Remember we had the herbs in here, which we don't want to have in here. So we're going to take that aside. We don't need this. <clears throat> oh, this is nice. Look at this. Mm -mm -mm. That is good. Oh my God, there's already meat. Hallelujah. So I have decided not to make a gravy out of this heaviness here. We're going to use it as vegetable. So how are we going to do this? I'm going to take the pot now, turn the stove off, and bring it over here. Put it down here. So now I'm going to take out my vegetables. Oh, can you smell this, Shatsi? No, actually I can't. Why not? I don't know. I can't smell it. You can no. smell it? Your nose is closed? No. What? Nose is not What's closed. What's wrong with your nose? 
I don't. Oh, now I now I get a little whiff of it. Now yeah. you get a whiff yeah. of it. Uh -huh. Oh, you're standing directly over it, so that's yeah, probably that's why you smell it. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's probably why. I don't. That's probably why. Oh, check this out. Now tell me this is not good looking meat. <gasps> oy, oy, oy. Oops. Whoa. <laughs> Careful. Mm -hmm. It was a finicky looking piece of meat when I unwrapped it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at this. Mm -mm -mm. I like that. So now I'm going to take out all this stuff here. Yeah. And the rosemary we don't need anymore. Hot, hot, hot. Here it is, number two. I know we have a number three. Put it in here. I don't know. Here it is, number three. People, if you could smell this, it smells so good. It does. It, it really does. So and look how nice our gravy has become. It turned nice and well. Mm. It's exactly what we wanted. So now I'm going to carry this back over to my stove because now we're going to thicken this one up here, okay? Right on here. <clears throat> and how we're going to do this, we are going to use our um, cornstarch. Cornstarch. Cornstarch with a little water. Cornstarch slurry. Yeah, cornstarch slurry. i got to taste this here. Oh, mm. this is good. But for my taste, it could be a little bit more spicy. Do you want to yeah, sample it? I've already sampled it twice, sampled remember? It twice? Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. Mm, you I don't remember? I'm cheating. Oh, okay. So I'm going to put a little more salt on it. Mm. Where's the salt? But it's right here. Just a little bit more salt. Not this much. I like to have a little bit more pepper because mm -hmm. we like spicy. Oh. And you have to figure out how much you want from that stuff. And I also like to add a little bit more paprika. So everybody is different in their wow, taste. A little bit more. Just a little bit more. Everybody is different in their taste. So you have to figure out for yourself what works best. You remember? That's right. Experiment. Experiment, exactly. Don't be afraid. We cannot fuck it up. It's easy to make. It's very easy to make. Well, it could get fucked. You could put too much salt in there. Yeah, that's why yeah. you are not putting so much salt in it in the beginning. Or too mm -hmm. much pepper. Yeah, no, that's not good. Mm -mm. No. And um, get this going. So this is like the old German dish. That's old fashioned, how we cooked it in Germany. Like I mentioned earlier today, when I was 9 or 10 years old, I think that was the very first time I made it. But then we didn't have cornstarch, we had only, we had flour, so we had to do it with flour, you know, and that was very difficult. And I don't yeah. like, like the flour, you know, and put it in water and whatnot. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I'm so grateful for that. Mm -hmm. um, cornstarch. Cornstarch, uh-huh. Speisestärke. Mm -hmm. Now you can, you can dress the gravy up. If you put mushrooms in it, if you like mushrooms, no. very delicious. Of course, you don't like it. They're so healthy for you. You should be eating mushrooms. Yeah. I doesn't. keep hearing that. He hates mushrooms. Nah, I don't like mushrooms. He hates I don't mushrooms. I hate them. Too. I just, I don't know. I don't what know. don't you like on mushrooms? The, maybe it's the texture. The texture? The texture thing, yeah. They're so soft and squishy. I, I don't know. Squishy? I just it's don't fun. like them, okay? <laughs> Let's leave it at that. I don't have to have reasons. No? No. <laughs> it always has to have a reason, right? Yeah. Just can't say, I just don't like them. No. That's not acceptable by a German chick. Mm. You know yeah. that. You know better. <laughs> you know better. Mm -hmm. yeah. Should we start boiling now? Maybe get a little pasta here. Okay, it's boiling now. Now we're gonna thicken it up. You wanna have a very nice thick, thick gravy or just watery? Oh, medium gravy? thick. Medium thick. 
if there is such a thing. You are so picky. Ah. You are so picky. No. Here we go. And then I would like to have a little bit more red wine on it. Now it's the time to cook it out anyway. See? Not a lot, just a little. Bit. Just a little. Yeah. I know you're Mr. Picky. <laughs> and this is so delicious. So, cook up now here. Put the rest in it. So, let it cook. And now it's going to be thickening up some more. Perfect. Nice and thick. Turn off the heat, kill it. And now we are plating. Very simple. So I think I want to have my lid on here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's why we need. I have plated so far everything here. I've plated so far everything here. Now mm -hmm. we're going to take off the meat. Ha! Huh. Comes off just like this. So simple. Easy. Nice. And I had it. Ah, oh. Yeah. Probably use a knife or something. Yeah. yeah would be a great idea, wouldn't it be? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's enough meat. Okay, three pieces. Oh, this is so good. Now. Uh oh. Hang on. <laughs> I'm going to take this over here. Mm -hmm. See, us now. Yeah. It's very, very good. And now we're going to put oh, some. Getting seasick here. <laughs> some gravy on it. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and over the meat, right? You oh, put yeah. over the meat. Always. Always over the meat. Lots of it. So, shake this up. This is, this is a Sunday dish. Here you have all the beautiful vegetables. You can also replace this with red cabbage. Then you got very quickly made um, potato smash and here's the beef. So, now that is, now that is some food. That is some food. Oh, you have to make it. Like, subscribe, and make it, make it, make it, make it, and let me know how you much, how much you liked it, okay? So, till you see you later, alligator, tschüss!